There are seven seals. In the right hand of him that sits on the throne is a book written within and on the back side, sealed with seven seals. The great spirit brings the sun from the east, and he multiplies for whom he wills. He is bounteous and knowing. The parable of those who spend their wealth in God's way is that of a grain that produces seven spikes. In each spike is a hundred grains. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path, because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. It is written, My house is the house of prayer, but the invaders have made it a den of thieves. The Great Spirit will restore the Native American tribes to their sovereign rights in their lands. He is powerful, wise. This is April Shell Ties, using the computer to generate this message. This is Rome, and they decided to put me down. I survived, but you might not, if you fall into their trap. There is a secret out there, that they don't want you to know. Hypnosis is being used against you daily, and a hypnotist can control you. They only need to grab a hold of you, and now they control you from a distance. They can even hold conversations with you on the astral plane, which some people call the realm of thought, or the spirit realm. The well-known science of the mind author Joseph Murphy calls it the subconscious mind. Stay away from astral plane conversations. God does not talk to you. He talked with Moses, and gave Moses his law. God does not crack jokes or hold conversations with you. That's a human, impersonating a deity on the astral plane, but it's really a human with bad breath and smelly feet. These people are into genocide, and they are the same people who practiced genocide against Jews, Africans, Native Americans, and more. Don't have conversations on the astral plane. Stay in God's word. The scriptures say, Praise the Lord, for he hath not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, neither hath he hid his face from him, but when he cried unto him, he heard, 